Hi. As most of you will know, I am the Reverend Bill Miller of Camborne Church, the minister there, and I am here really to talk a little bit about how we are going to continue being a worshipping, uh, fellowshipping Christian community, which seeks to be good news to our town and neighbourhood um, in these coming weeks and months when we will not be gathering on the Sundays uh, in the way we've been used to for uh, public worship. And actually when many of our weekday, well, all of our really week, regular weekday activities and gatherings have gone. Um, but uh, Jesus Christ is the same today, sorry, yesterday, today and tomorrow, uh, as it says in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. God's not surprised by this. God is still God. Jesus is still Jesus. He is still as loving and faithful as ever. He's not surprised. And God's people have gone through worse things than this. But I'm wanting to talk about um, some practicalities. But first, I will just say, when I became minister of this church what was my aim my aim was to nurture a christian community to be a people who worship god who love god and neighbor who are good news and share good news uh, in the community in which we have been placed that is utterly unchanged utterly unchanged so um, I will say we're still aiming at that. It's just the means by which we're going to get there are going to be very different. The weeks and months ahead will be tricky, will be difficult. Of course they will. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. We might be touched by great tragedy among us. Um, but... But our God is faithful and good. Let me talk about three uh, kind of practicalities in the midst of all this. Sundays. Sundays, 10 o'clock. Let's talk about Sundays, 10 o'clock first. Sundays at 10 o'clock, it is our intention, technology permitting, uh, not leaving us down, that we will stream a service, prayers, Bible readings, um, reflections on on those readings. It'll be actually on John 14. It's what I was due to speak on this coming Sunday anyway. It's what I will reflect upon um, this Sunday, but I'll do it online. It'll be a bit of a sort of an online service presented by myself. Um, and uh, I invite you uh, to join in with that. The website, the Facebook page, will point you in the right direction. It should probably be on our YouTube uh, feed. I think that's probably where it will be embedded. And if you can't engage at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, you might be able to engage um, later um, because you will be able to do sort of YouTube wa video watching as a, as a catch up. So... Uh, that's our intention for Sunday mornings, for the foreseeable, really. Um, we're still working out the technology and the means, and that might change a wee bit. And it could go wrong this Sunday. Doesn't mean you shouldn't tune in the Sunday after that. And we'll have an apology, and we'll have worked things out by then. Um, that's one. The second thing I wanted to say about Sundays is um, it's our hope that at 130 as many as are fit and able, not people who are socially, socially isolating themselves or who should be socially isolating themselves, but people for whom um, the social distancing is sufficient, that fact that we don't go within two metres of one another. Um, at 11.30, or at and around 11.30 at a church car park in Campbell, I'm asking if people want to come and there hopefully 
they will find others who are coming and we don't gather them in a big group we really don't we mustn't otherwise we'll have to shut it down because this can only operate if we operate according to the government guidelines keeping social distance uh, not getting into big groups but um, once two or three are there then those three should two or three should gather together um, and go on a walk together and suggesting that we might greet each other with peace be with you that's uh, a way you can even do that to the other side of the car park and if you're not sure it's that person here for the prayer walk that might be a way of introducing yourself as it were as soon as two or three are gathered you meet up you you, you connect whether you know each other or not really you, you connect and you go together i would suggest if the person is a stranger to you or if, uh, if there's anyone who's under 18 particularly vulnerable you don't get into twos you do threes um, under 18s with a member of their own family um, um, or with a uh, one of the youth leading team if they are there um, alongside somebody else so in threes in that case but twos or threes um, and go for a walk not going closer than two meters to one another but that is close enough to be able to talk to listen i suggest that once you've identified your two or three you say the lord's prayer together and then go on a walk i'm not going to suggest a route you choose the route we should all choose different routes it's not a it's, it's we're not going for a walk together we're going for for walks in in twos and threes i would say uh, half an hour more if you want to that's fine but if you're coming it would be good to sort of be able to commit to half an hour listen to each other talk to each other listen to god talk to god have a walk with him um have a walk with a fellow christian and with god and have a conversation with a fellow christian and with god and in the process lift up our community of camborne to god cry out to him for this community and for our nation and our world um, and for one another and uh, and then don't wait when you come back just just if you've walked walk away if you've come by bike collect your bike go if you've driven you've driven you know get back to your cars don't hang about um overly much um you know so but this is the government actually suggests the, the guidance is that it's good to go for a walk it's actually good for to go for a walk in the open air and actually um, if you keep those social isolating distances it's actually um, it's entirely acceptable and, and, and in some places it's actually encouraged that uh, this is a good thing to do um, to prevent isolation and we can make a spiritual exercise of it a spiritual activity of it and part of our Sunday morning um, offering to God in Christian community and the third thing I'm wanting to say is a bit like Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock uh, on uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday um, we at 9 15 a.m. I will try um, to live stream uh, praying together the um, form we'll use we'll use morning prayer from the Northumbria community you might not have heard of them but you can find them online Northumbria community and one of the advantages of using this form of prayer is you can go to the web page um, of the Northumbria community and find that day's um, readings and that that day's full text of the service it's just a short form of prayer but slow meditative um, we'll be uh, reading some scripture praying uh, together and also particularly kind of um, one thing the Northumbria community does is, is reflect on um, within the sort of Celtic Christian tradition and they will uh, be uh, reflecting on the lives and, and teachings of uh, the Celtic saints those ancient uh, Christians from these islands who um, lit up the dark ages <laughs> um, so many centuries ago so we will be 10 a.m sunday online 
and you can do catch up YouTube. 9.15 live streaming, probably YouTube again, but the that should be clear, clearly signposted um, if we're having to change platforms on our website and or Facebook page. And 11.30, why don't we walk together um, and, uh, and pray to God and listen to him and to each other in all that process. So that is also my intention that, that these will be continuing uh, until and unless government guidelines say um, or, or, or um, common sense says that actually the 11.30 uh, walk is no longer uh, appropriate to the time. But uh, that's our plan. Meanwhile, be blessed. Uh, this isn't the last you'll see of me doing one of these videos. Um, and uh, keep in touch with one another. Love one another as we've been loved. These are days when it will be good and important to show our love one to another.